Welcome back, True Seeker. It is Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. And I've titled this video, Coincidence Not, because way too many people in the world think the subject of gematria is a coincidence when it's undeniable that it's not. It's evidence of ritual, which takes place every day in the programming or what most people call the news. And um, hello to everyone in the chat. See Daria's out there. Shout out to Daria. She just pounded payment with us in Oklahoma City. Drove all the way out from Utah. Anyhow, Tom Brady announces today that he wants to be an announcer. And notice how in Gematria, announcer equals 105. Like today's date is 10 slash 5. We're going to go through headlines today and just see how much they coded 105 on 10 slash 5 and understand this is something that goes on every single day. Every single news story is contrived this way from Tom Brady to coronavirus to the latest supposed mass shooting to Russia, Ukraine. Every single day, all of your news is contrived this way. It's evidence of an agenda. It's evidence of a new world order. And again, the reason they do this is because they're into Kabbalah, where this whole code of letters and numbers comes from. And everybody should have known that there was a new world order and they were numerologists based on what happened on September 11th, 2001. Some people are slow to the punch, though. But anyway, we're going to go through Tom Brady's ritual because it's more than just about the date and the word announcer. We'll see how perfect it is for him to announce that he's going to become an announcer for Fox Sports when he retires from the NFL. We're also going to talk about why Bill Gates, who donated $105 million to COVID-19 vaccine research, supposedly has COVID on 10 slash 5. We're going to see how perfect this ritual is in tribute to the state that he calls home these days, Washington State. We're going to talk about why Apple is discontinuing the iPod, which was created by Steve Jobs, who died on the other 10-5 date. He died October 5th, 2011. And again, today can be written 10-5, just like October 5th. They can both be written 5-10 or 10-5, like 105. In Gematria, the word computer equals 105. And of course, Bill Gates, who made his name with computers and computer viruses, is now Mr. Vaccine and Virus. and what do you know? He's sick with COVID, supposedly on this day. And don't forget, he was also once sued by Steve Jobs. And if I'm not mistaken, Apple also ended up trying to sue Microsoft for copying the iPod design. So anyway, we'll go over all this because it's all ritual. There's been rumors in the news for about a month, month and a half now that Belarus would eventually join the war on behalf of Russia and possibly... That could lead to NATO needing to intervene. Well, now, guess what? Belarus on Ukraine's doorstep in the ongoing contrived theater of war, which, by the way, we predicted what day it would start. We predicted exactly when it would pop off with Russia and Ukraine, and we're dead on. But notice, the, the, uh, the leader of the country, the leader of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, you see how his name, Gematri, has that 105 in it? Also, that 201. If you're new here, you won't know what that means. But if you're a veteran, you already know. But um, again, just these same old patterns. On October 5th, the other 105 date last year, Forbes said Jeff Bezos was worth $201 billion. Now, Mr. 201105, you know, he's in the news today. And, and there, there's a lot of this, by the way. William Henry Gates is another 201105. So anyway, we'll bring it all together here. But we're going through why all these things are. We'll talk about why Russia's hypersonic missiles are in the news today. Another 105. And, um, you know, news by the numbers on the 130th day of the year. Tesla has to recall 130,000 cars. I'm sure that's just a coincidence. News from Washington. That's Washington, D.C. The other Washington's where Bill Gates is. So you can understand why Washington's popping on the 130th day of the year. That's today, May 10th. And, um <laughs> Again, the CDC, the CDC getting involved in another agenda. Now they're putting out gun-related statistics. And would you believe that their database goes from ages 10 to 44 for shootings? Hmm, doesn't that seem like an odd number to cut it off at, 44? Not 10 through 50 or 10 through 45, but 10 through 44? How many million times have I taught about shootings in 44? Like literally, how many million times? And we'll talk about the whole PSYOP in Alabama. Alabama PSYOP comes to an end in Indiana. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Alabama Crimson Tides football season. They lost the championship in Indiana. 
And we'll talk about what a ritual it all is and how those things are not separate. Again, news and sports all scripted together. Another undeniable example coming up. We've been talking a lot about the death of Dr. Kevin Samuels, as he referred to himself, which equals 56, reported at age 56, even though he wasn't 56. And then what do you know, a couple of days later, we got Young Thug and Gunna, along with 28 YSL members indicted for RICO charges, a 56 count indictment. You know, the, the Black Lives Matter number, YSL 56. Again, if you just think all this stuff's a coincidence day after day, you, you really are dense. And, you, I mean, really, you need to get your head checked out seriously. But, um, again, we'll, we'll bring it all together. You know, Kevin Samuels, dead at 56, reportedly. And then they changed it to age 57, where cardiac arrest equals 57. They say that's his cause of death. But, really, neither of those were his age. Anyway, understand it's because the numbers are being forced, they're being coded, and their rituals paying tribute to who's behind all this stuff. And um, again, we'll get into all of it. Let's come back here to Tom Brady on May 10th, 10 slash 5, saying that he's going to be an announcer for Fox Sports. He's going to become the greatest football NFL announcer of all time after he retires. And again, it's just so simple. And the most simple cipher. Again, if you are new here, just understand. There's the most simple cipher, which is this one. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4, E is 5, F is 6, G is 7, all the way up to Z, the 26, R is 26. The other ciphers is the alphabetic order with the rules in numerology. So just applying numerology, pretty much the same thing, alphabetic order plus numerology. And then the reverse alphabetic order and the reverse alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. If you know all four of these ciphers, you'll see through pretty much all the rituals in the news. Um, the only other cipher you would need is Jewish gematria, which we'll touch a bit on when we get to the Alabama story. And um, again, you don't even need all four of those ciphers. If, if you guys watched me for the first three and a half years that I was here, I only had two ciphers and saw through pretty much all the news. But then when I learned the other half to run it in verse, I was like, wow, this is the other half of the code. So anyway, announcer 105, 10 slash five, Brady comes out. Today's 85 days before his upcoming birthday on August 3rd. And notice he's 44 years old right now. Fox Sports is 44. National Football League's 85. He's going to announce National Football League games for Fox Sports. You don't think this is a perfect ritual? Like his entire scripted career, like I've been showing you for years? Everything from the deflate gate trial to his scripted on-the-field career? I mean, how, how else have we called so many of his season outcomes before they happened, you know? Because it's all rigged and scripted from on the field to off the field, like I've been saying, like a broken record going on nine years. Every single day. Again, for all the new people here, I've been doing this every single day for going on nine years and proving it every single day. Every single day, the news is scripted and you can see through it every single day. And it's not that hard. It, it really isn't that hard. It just takes rec recognizing the knowledge, looking at the headlines, typing in the keyword and going, oh, look again. Oh, look again. Oh, wow. Again. Oh, my God. Again. Every day. Okay. And skeptics will be like, well, from what I've seen, you have 10 slash 5 for 105, and you're also saying 130 for the 130th day of the year. And people always leave comments like this. I'm like, okay, and, and doesn't that make sense? I mean, what, you really think this stuff's a coincidence every day? Tesla recalling 130,000 vehicles on the 130th day of the year, and then Mr. Washington Bill Gates is also in the news today. You really think it's a coincidence? And Bill Gates' name is 105? You don't see how it all comes together? Just wait if you don't see. We'll make it way more convincing. We're just getting started. So, okay, Bill Gates. Bill Gates, who donated $105 million to COVID-19 vaccine research, is now sick on 10 slash 5 when his name equals 201 and 105. And remember, he's one of the main co-sponsors of Event 201, the coronavirus pandemic simulation one month before the outbreak in Wuhan, China. That also took place on the same day the military world games began in Wuhan, China. And they're credited to the Jesuits, just like Event 201, just like Bill Gates is married, well, was married until he got divorced by the numbers. And by the way, if you've read my last book, I said he was in an arranged marriage with Melinda Gates from the Jesuit priest family that was perfectly planned and synced up with the coronavirus pandemic because they were married on the first day of 94. Coronavirus pandemic equals 94. He declared his decade of vaccines from Davos, Switzerland, which equals 94, like Seattle, Washington, one decade before the pandemic that got him his wish for the decade of vaccines. Uh, again, if I'm talking too fast, just rewind it and slow it down. But anyway, don't forget his mom died in 94. His dad died at age 94. 
And don't forget uh, the Seattle Seahawks, the only Super Bowl they ever won was the 94th season over Denver, which also equals 94. And um, then Russell Wilson's grandpa died at 94. And Bill Gates became a celebrity in 1994. And that was the year Kurt Cobain died in Seattle and Nirvana, 94 days after him and Melinda got married, which was 206 days before Bill Gates' birthday, the sacrifice number in Seattle, the 206 area code. But anyway, William Henry Gates, Order of Illuminati. And don't think that's a joke. If I write out the Jesuit order, it also equals 201. And the Illuminati was established by the Jesuit Adam Weishaupt, who died 201 days after the anniversary of its establishment. These things are not a coincidence. These patterns go on all throughout history. Illuminati, power, right? You know what power is? Simulating a coronavirus pandemic and then a month later telling the world that there's a coronavirus pandemic and getting away with it while they report to you that people died in a nursing home. Anyway, notice computer's also 105, right? This guy this guy started out as Mr. Computer. Mr. Computer Virus becomes Mr. Virus. And you know what day his birthday is? The same day as Jonas Salks, who's Mr. Vaccine. Here's where this gets even more interesting. From Bill Gates' birthday to today's is 195th day of his age, right? Washington State equals 195. Washington equals 130. So on the 130th day of the year, on the 195th day of Bill Gates' age, you know, probably the most famous guy in Washington, it's either him or Jeff Bezos, is he's been a lot more famous for a lot longer than Jeff Bezos. So even though maybe Jeff Bezos supposedly has more money now, even though they're both just Jesuit puppets that represent fascist Jesuit big tech companies, um, I'd still say he's more Mr. Washington. He's, he's a lot more established in the Pacific Northwest than Bezos. He's also a lot more liked in Seattle. People think uh, Bill Gates is God in Seattle. A lot of these people, a lot of people don't like Jeff Bezos, even in Seattle. Um, take it from me. I live up here. Anyway, Washington, their birthday is November 11th. And by the way, for you guys who think it's silly to run it forwards and backwards, let me take you back to Monday Night Football, November 11th. Here, let me let me show you the box score. Seahawks, 49ers, box score, Monday Night Football, November 11th. Watch this. Okay, where, where's our game at? Is this it? Here it is right here. Seahawks paid three and a half to one this night. They were a big underdog in this game. Big underdog. And they shouldn't have been. I mean, because again, I mean, they're right there, but the 49ers were on fire. Big payout on the Seahawks who were dogs in this game. And you know what happened in this game? Pete Carroll, he got his 130. This is on Washington State's birthday. The Seahawks, Monday Night Football, primetime on the road with the 49ers. The Seahawks got their 130th regular season win, or excuse me, Pete Carroll got his 130th regular season win and his 140th all-time win, if you count postseason wins, because he had 10 more wins in the postseason. So 130th win in the regular season, 140th in the postseason. And again, there's a million things like this that happen in the NFL, but it's just so undeniable. Pete Carroll gets the Washington numbers on Washington State's birthday in a big game on the road. Again, undeniable, not a coincidence. You've got to be a moron if you think it is. This is elementary edition. If you think this is so complicated, again, really, that's sad because this is A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and just running the alphabetic order in reverse. So our Washington's 140, just making Z1 back to A is 26. A again, a and for the person out there, well, what about 49 and 50? Go back and see how we called the Nationals to beat the Astros in Game 7 of the playoffs before the Nationals had even clinched a spot in the playoffs from understanding that Washington also equals 49 and 50. And then they'll be up to speed. But anyway, anyway, coming back to old Billy Gates, look at this. From Washington's birthday to this news today is the 181st day of the state's age. Now, that's wild because that's the 42nd prime number. And Washington's the 42nd state in order of statehood. And here's the other thing. If you've been following my work, if you read my books, you know all about it. Vaccine equals 42 in Gematria. All of these numbers are so relevant to vaccine. All of these numbers get used in, in rituals with vaccines. Today's also the 113th day since the, or excuse me, 113th week, the first day of the 113th week since the pandemic was declared on 11 slash 3. 113 is the 30th prime. Bill Gates is Mr. Vaccine. So 30, 42. Coronavirus pandemic equals 113, the 30th prime. The National Basketball Association equals 113, the 30th prime. There's 30 teams in the league. 
the Utah Jazz, the only 113 team with – well, there's two teams in the league that have a connection to 113. The only one with the full name is Utah Jazz, 113. The other is Dallas, which equals 113, who scored 113 points on 11-3 the day the NBA was locked down after it was blamed on the Frenchman Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz, and the Jesuits are from France. But anyway, Pfizer just said they made $13.2 billion in the first quarter off their vaccine, like 132 and then that 57 Don't forget how we called the Moderna stock to blow up on May 7th, which it did and made a lot of people a lot of money. May 7th, 2020, we said the Moderna stock would shoot to the roof, and it did because it was backed by Bill Gates, whose name equals 57, like vaccine. And again, on May 7th, 5-7, what do you know? Oh, FDA. The reason it shot up that day is because the FDA approved it. For phase two testing, the first vaccine approved for phase two testing, causing its stock price to shoot way up that day. It skyrocketed. And notice how Bill Gates is also 87 when he got the vaccine, January 22nd, 2021. That was the 87th day of his age. Bill Gates was the CEO of Microsoft for 33 years. Uh, there's a lot more to say about all this stuff, but... Um, Anyway, it's the 181st day of Washington's age. Bill Gates is Mr. Vaccine. Again, vaccines 42. The vaccine went live in the world for COVID-19. First in the UK on December 8th, 2021. No, excuse me, December 8th, 2020, which was Bill Gates' 42nd day of his age. On Bill Gates' 42nd day of his age, the vaccine went live. On Bill Gates' first birthday, Jonas Salk turned 42 and Elvis Presley got the polio vaccine on live TV that day, exactly 42 weeks after his birthday. Elvis, who went on to die at age 42. But anyway, there's been about a million rituals with vaccine in 42. And now, like I've been saying, Bill Gates is at the center of like every last one of these vaccine rituals. And now in this perfect tribute to Washington State, he's getting COVID-19. And, and, and what's he talking about? He's talking about how he's thankful that he ha he's been vaccinated and boosted. And um, he has very low symptoms because of that. Then again, there's a lot of people who haven't been, you know, jabbed. And they haven't been sick or they've had very low symptoms too. You know what I mean? It, 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 I know big tech hates us to talk about things. They want to call everything that's medical inf misinformation that doesn't go along with their agenda. But, you know, my parents are both around 70 years old. Neither of them have been jabbed largely thanks to their son. And, you know, they've been healthy the whole time. I've been healthy the whole time. So, and, well, I, I did I did get sick at the beginning of this year. I, I've been sick one time in the time of the pandemic. I got sick at the beginning of this year. I was sick for like a week. And you know what? I mean, people get sick, right? People get sick. We've always gotten sick. So, and just, I mean, look at it all, though. Seriously, from the, the day the pandemic was declared today, the first day of the 113th week, it's also exactly 26 months when COVID's 26 and virus is 26 and China's 26 and God is 26. Again, in Kabbalah, 26 represents God. In English, God equals 26. And there's a 26-letter alphabet where the whole gematria thing is in tribute to God. It comes from Kabbalah. Kabbalah has the belief that God created the world with numbers, letters, and words written in the book of formation. Look it up. But, um, yeah, I mean, to, to really think all this stuff's a coincidence, you got to be a fool. Him posting at 2.41, I guarantee you that's not an accident either. You posted at 2.41 out here. We're in the same time zone. So him and I, we got the same post time. If you guys didn't know that, like, if you're on the East Coast, it probably shows that Bill Gates posted at 5.41. You know, if you're two time zones ahead, it probably shows that he posted at 4.41. If you're in the next time zone over, it might show 3.41. If you're in Europe, it shows some different time. But we're out here in the same time zone. So I guarantee you he posted at 241. And I, you know why that's not an accident? Because 241 is the 53rd prime. And there's been about a million examples of COVID in 53. COVID 53 in reverse 82. It's also 26, like we just said. 82, remember where it all jumped off in Seattle and Bill Gates' city? Seattle is the only city in the nation that equals 19, COVID 19. Right away, they started researching the vaccine. Pfizer and all these companies, you see where Seattle's 44, like Pfizer, like Warp Speed. Remember Operation Warp Speed to, to get it all out there. A military agenda in a nation run by military. But anyway, it's all ritual. These guys are in the cabal. They're numerologists. They're laughing in your face. That's why they got to censor people like me and minimize the impact of the work. And um, that's why you guys need to help me. 
get it out there. there. There's a lot of forces working against me for going on nine years straight to keep this work from reaching the amount of people it should. That's where you guys come in to help overcome that. The problem is I always got people in my comments, Zach, people make fun of me when I share this. They say I'm crazy. Every time I hear that, I just think, why, why is your weak ass in my chat? Why are you even hanging around here if you're so weak and wimpy? You know, I don't want to hear about these people calling you crazy and how that offends you so much so you can't share it. That's some weak ass bullshit. Share it anyway. Don't worry about all these losers who think it's all a coincidence and bullshit. These people are brain dead losers. You shouldn't worry about their opinions. Brain dead losers opinions don't matter. They don't matter. If you let them matter, it must think that do you think you're dumber than a brain dead loser? Do you think you're lower than some brain dead loser and their opinion? No, rise above it. If you're above it, you rise above it. Remember, I told you the story. Back in when I was 30 years old in 2013, I had to say fuck you to pretty much everyone I knew. Because they were all saying this shit was crazy when it was undeniable. I wasn't even nearly as good at it back in 2013, but I knew it was undeniable. I was like, man, if everyone thinks I'm crazy for sharing this, then fuck these people. These people are fucking retarded, man. These people are part of the problem. I'm moving on. That should be your attitude, too. That should be everybody's attitude right now who gets what time it is. If you're, ah, I like the work, but I'm just too wimpy to share it on my own. But just wrap it all up. Just end it. Shut it down. No more. Okay. So Apple discontinuing its latest iPod model. Again, today can be written 10 slash 5. So can the date that Steve Jobs died in history. Steve Jobs died October 5th, 2011. And again, iPod is Steve Jobs' invention that, that brought Apple back into the game. And I, I just want you to see what's interesting about Steve Jobs the day he died. Do you see how he died October 5th? We just had Bill Gates' birthday up October 28th. So that means that Jobs, he died 23 days before Bill Gates' birthday. 23 days. Now, the reason that matters is in the most pure cipher, Apple is 23. Apple's 23, right? In computer, 105. Like dead on 10 slash 5. But October 5th also leaves 87 days left in the year. And Bill Gates and Steve Jobs have a history because Steve Jobs hates Bill Gates. He sued Bill Gates and he said Bill Gates is who ruined him at first at Apple because Bill Gates and IBM somehow figured out how to rip off his software, which made Microsoft very powerful. And IBM, it put them ahead of Apple for a period of time. And it ended up in Steve Jobs being removed from Apple. And isn't it funny that all those years later, Steve Jobs dies? And you know what else? Steve Jobs died at age 56. And what do I keep telling you about big tech and the Jesuits? That's the most pure cipher for Society of Jesus, the formal name of the Jesuits. Not only did he die at 56, but he died on the 56th day of Steve Wozniak's age, who also co-founded Apple with him. And... Again, if you think all this stuff's a coincidence, you know, I got news for you. You're not very bright. It's also not an accident that Melinda Gates from a family of Jesuit priests turned 56 the year of the coronavirus pandemic and the year that the COVID vaccine went live. Coronavirus 56, COVID vaccine 56. It all started in Seattle with the 56th mayor, Jenny Durkin. And then it went to Chicago with the 56th mayor, Lori Lightfoot, who had the same birthday as the winner of the 56th presidential election. Barack Obama, also from Chicago. Like Tom Hanks, born in 56, who got the Medal of Freedom around his neck the same night Bill Gates did by Obama. Go back and look it up. Bill Gates, Tom Hanks on the same stage getting Medals of Freedom from the winner of the 56th presidential election, Barack Obama. And remember, Black Lives Matter is 56. And Kamala took the White House at 56. And Katanji Brown Jackson got nominated on the 56th day of the year. You know, they painted Black Lives Matter in the streets of D.C., on 5 slash 6, and Black Lives Matter is 56, just like Washington, D.C., the Jesuit stronghold, where Anthony Fauci's telling us, does it make sense to wear a mask? No, you need to wear a mask. No, you need to wear two masks. Actually, maybe three masks. Actually, maybe it's better with just one mask. You know, it's funny. A couple decades ago, he was on C-SPAN telling people that vaccination wasn't the best way to immunity. The best way to immunity was to actually contract the illness and then have your immune system beat it. And he said, in his own words, that that was much more effective than any vaccine. It's funny how that clips out there from Anthony Fauci on C-SPAN from about 20 years before the pandemic. Wonder what happened. How much money did Pfizer and Moderna and Johnson & Johnson put in Anthony Fauci's pocket? You know what I mean? That's the problem with our government. That They're the real misinformation. There's the real misinformation. 
You know what the problem is? Google's also controlled by the same Jesuit cabal. That's why they take down me and call me misinformation when all I'm doing is putting out undeniable facts. People standing around with their hands in their pockets. I still don't know if I should help support this. As the world burns up, just like I said it would. Again, in 2015, I told you guys all, if we don't wake up and get organized and network, we'll probably all be fucked by the time 2020 rolls around. Was I wrong? Nope. I was not wrong. Wish I would have been. But if your hands are still in your pockets and you still haven't figured it out, there's something severely wrong with you. Anyway. Anyway. Steve Jobs. His death obviously had a lot to do with Bill Gates and so have many other people's. Okay, so again, Belarus. Belarus getting in the conflict today on 10 slash 5 by the numbers, synced up with their leader, Alexander Lukashenko, who's got the same numbers as the Order of Illuminati. And here, let me go back to the um, – let's go back to the Jeff Bezos thing from October 5th. Jeff Bezos, Forbes, 201. I just want you to see how they hit three out of the four base ciphers for Order of Illuminati in the Jeff Bezos ritual. So Forbes said Jeff Bezos was worth $201 billion as of his September 3rd, 9-3-2021 evaluation. And this was published on October 5th. 10-5, 2021. Can you see that? Published on October 5th. And notice, that's right, Jeff Bezos also turned 56 in 2020. His name, Jeffrey Bezos, is 56. Yearly departed in 2020 on the Amazon streaming service said the year was so bad it felt like it was 56 months long. There, there, there's a million more of these, but hold on. There it is. That's what I want to show you. Order of Illuminati. 201 billion as of the 9-3 valuation on 10 slash <laughs> five. And again, it is a real thing. It was established even before America in 1776 by a Jesuit. You know, Neil Alden Armstrong 201. Moon landing, 201st day of the year. Jeff Bezos to the moon in a dick rocket on the anniversary of the moon landing, 56 days after Mike Myers' birthday. Mike Myers, who played Dr. Evil and rode around in a dick rocket and played the character Austin Powers and said, that's a man, baby, looking at women or supposedly women. By the way, Caitlyn Jenner's 201. And remember when all the power went out on Valentine's Day in 2021 and we predicted it months before it happened? You guys are with me. I said, why there'd be blackouts on Valentine's Day? Wasn't wrong about that. And... What, where did, why did they say the power was out in Texas? Because recently it had all been centralized in Austin. Austin Powers, predictive programming, riddles, syncing up people's lives with actors and movie scripts. This is the shit that's going on every day. It's not a coincidence. Power's out. Trannies are everywhere. It's a man, baby. And it was foretold in the 90s. You know? And again, just Russia fires hypersonic missiles at Odessa. By the way, Odessa, Ukraine equals 201, just like the Donbass region where the whole thing popped off. And don't forget, Biden and Putin met 201 days after the Ignatian year began on Pearl Harbor Day for two hours and one minute. But hypersonic missiles, 105. Why do you think this is in the news on 10 slash 5 along with everything else? Because it's all just a coincidence. Notice Simon Dan shut the fuck up again. We were supposed to be debating today. I haven't heard from him all week. I think his handlers said, uh, I don't think we're going to do this debate. This looks like a certain L. Imagine that imagine he had to debate me today. We're just Or any day. Fuck it. Imagine him debating me any day. But I mean, today would have been really the cherry on top. Bill Gates with his little COVID ritual. It would have been nice to ask Simon Dan where the science is behind this pandemic. Somewhere blown in the wind out of Bob Dylan's asshole. Hey, Simon Dan, is it a coincidence that 130,000 vehicles were recalled on the 130th day of the year? I already know what his argument would be. Well, it says nearly 130,000, so it's actually not 130, even though they put that in the headline. See, actually, if you read the article, it was 129,960. Okay, Simon Dan. It's just, that's what it's annoying about my critics. It's like, okay, did I write nearly 130K? Did I write that in the headline? Do I do this every day? No, I, I just expose it every day. 
And before I knew Gematria, you know, for, for the, from 9-11 up until I took that for, so it was over 10 years, 9-11 happened in 2001. I found Gematria in 2013, but for that whole period of time, I just saw the number rituals in the news all the time and it drove me nuts. I was like, what are they doing with numbers? Like, what is this about? But seek and you shall find. And, and again, I mean, how many times have I talked about shootings in 44? The, the state that equals 44 is Georgia, where the CDC is. And why is the CDC doing gun control stats now? Like, aren't you aren't you guys busy enough with your one agenda? But But now the largest increase in 2020 occurred among black boys. They had to say boys. They had to do it that way. They couldn't say black adolescents, black children. They got to they gotta put the derogatory boy in there. By the way, boy has that gematria 42, like the N-word, like Tuskegee. By the way, the person who founded the CDC, his name equals 201. Pretty much everyone who founded every single branch of science name equals 201. It's a little bit of an exaggeration, but hardly. Um the largest increases in 2020 occurred among black boys and men ages 10 to 44. Oh, really? And American Indian or ask Alaska Native men ages 25 to 44. I mean, why would you stop at 44 for a stat about shooting and, unless you were all about gematria? Anyone got an answer to that question? Simon Dan, pretentious cocksucker. Got an answer to the question? His boyfriend, Conspiracy Cats, got an answer to the question. Why would you stop at 44? Why is it that I've been teaching about shootings and 44 since 2013? Why is that? And again, just more proof that all news is bullshit. And so often it's synced up with sports and sometimes I can't figure out wh wh exactly where they're going with the story. And sometimes I can, but there's no doubt that this Alabama story ending in Indiana, like the Crimson Tides football season just ended in Indiana. Th there's, there's no doubt that these two stories are, are these two things are connected and I'll show you why this happened on a 56 date numerology. They said that the woman who shot herself was 56 years old. And uh, again, 56 date numerology in Jewish gematria, Alabama is 56. They said the man was 38 years old. She was 56 years old, and it lasted 11 days. The master number in numerology. What's 56 in numerology? 5 plus 6 is 11. What's 38 in numerology? 3 plus 8 is 11. What's football? 11 on 11. So we have a 56-year-old and a 38-year-old, supposedly. That's what they're telling us. It ended in Evansville, Indiana, which equals 74, number that they code all the time. Seven plus four is 11. It's, it's, it's a signature number of the Masons and the Jesuits. It's not an accident. This nation's birthday is seven, four. You can just, both of my books I've made free to download. I've talked about 74, like 74 trillion times. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Both of my books pretty much start with 74. Um, but notice that this, this ended on May 9th, right? Five, nine in Evansville, which also equals 59. And Notice that from the date of the college championship, January 10th to May 9th was 119 days later. Alabama Crimson Tides 119. That state's not really known for anything besides its football team, is it? Auburn, maybe. More football. But keep in mind, that's the number of the Fraternal Order of Police. The phrase all-seeing eye equals 119. Their logo is the all-seeing eye, or they have the, the all-seeing eye in their logo, I should say. And then May 9th is the 129th day of the year, and Crimson Tide equals 129, like Vince Dooley. And remember, Vince Dooley just watched Georgia beat Alabama on his 129th day of his age. Vince Dooley was 201-77 and in his time coaching Georgia. Again, from his September 4th birthday to the championship was his 129th day of his age, like his name is 129. The number 129 is 201 in base eight counting. Indianapolis is the only 201 city in America. Don't forget what they did last year in Indianapolis with the college basketball championship. The Baylor coach won 201 days before his birthday. And Elgin Baylor died right before the championship. And from his birthday to the championship was 201 days later. And again, the Jesuit order is 201. Elgin Baylor went to the Jesuit school in Washington State, Seattle University, whereas Gonzaga is the other Jesuit school in Washington State. There's only 27 Jesuit universities in the nation, but two of them are in Washington. And that's because the first Jesuit university is named after George Washington, Georgetown. But anyway, 
Dooley also won 201 games, 129 is 201 in base eight counting. Don't forget that the center for uh, the Colts or was it the center or maybe it wasn't the center, but one of their linemen, their child died, their infant child died this year, 201 days before Pope Francis' birthday. And then the Colts won their championship or not the championship. The Colts won their game the next day on a Jonathan Taylor touchdown that put the game away with 201 left on the clock. And they could have stopped the clock at 202, but they stopped it at 201. They let it run an extra second and we know why. But anyway. This stuff is not an accident, you guys. Not to mention, hey, before week two was played, we said why it looked like Georgia would beat Alabama in the championship. We talked about it on Patreon, why Georgia should beat Alabama in the championship before week two was played. When week two was played, we felt super confident about that outcome, and that's exactly what happened. And by the way, Georgia got their 25th win versus Alabama on the Pope's 25th day of his age. And... um Notice Dooley coached for 25 years. And that's what we caught on to with the week two games, the way they were scheduled 97 days before the Pope's birthday, the 25th prime, which should remind you of the 97th NFL season that they moved the touchback to 25 yards and the Super Bowl's on two slash five. And the Patriots had a 25 point comeback over the Falcons where Falcons equals 25. And that Georgia team lost in the ritual. This time the Georgia team won in like the reversal of the ritual. The pro team lost. Years later, Georgia wins same number ritual. It's like a trade-off. Um, but oh yeah, check this out. So with regards to the two oh one in this story, the corrections officer ran off with the inmate. Corrections officer happens to equal two oh one, like Indianapolis, right? And in Jewish Gematria, University of Alabama, they abbreviate it UA. In Jewish Gematria, UA is two oh one. And in Jewish Gematria, Alabama's 56. And this is why Jewish Gematria is the most important cipher outside of the base ciphers. Because of the way the letter values are, there's so many interesting combinations and outcomes that sync up so well with history. Just look at this. If you go to this calculator and, and you close the other ciphers and just open up Jewish, Jewish, not Jewish ordinal or reduction. The guy who made this calculator, he, he created Jewish ordinal and Jewish reduction. And those aren't necessarily real ciphers, but Jewish gematria is a real cipher. And notice in Jewish gematria, Tisha B'Av equals 911. Do you know why that matters? Because Tisha B'Av is to remember the destruction of the two temples, not too far off from two towers. Division. What happened after 9-11? Was the world ever more divided? I don't think so. It became the most divided it ever was in my lifetime. People started hating other people because of their other religi- their, their religious beliefs. Al-Qaeda terrorist attack 9-11 in this cipher. Would you believe it? Freddie Mercury is interesting because 9-11 happened in the time of Mercury. I might have to research that more. There might be a connection actually with Queen, the British band, and Freddie Mercury. There could be something there. I haven't connected that to date, but it is interesting. Uh, global currency, well, we're on the way because of the agendas that are going. Rambo's explained how the divine feminine fits in with that ritual. That's that's his field of expertise. Vatican Hill, where the Jesuits, who, who the Jesuits operate on behalf of. Jihadists, what they called the hijackers. Ossuary, where Skull and Bones gets their symbolism from when we had a Skull and Bones president. By the way, George W. Bush graduated from Yale in 1968 with a graduating class of 911 members. And that's the same year World Trade Center construction began and 911 was made the national emergency dialing code. So, I mean, there's a lot of other interesting things on this list, like natural disasters and light, a light of what we know about military and, you know, weather manipulation and harp and the fact that there was a massive storm out in the Atlantic that never made landfall while 911 was going on. But anyway, somebody's looking at the Easy E thing. Easy E died in a massive 201 ritual, if you didn't know that. I don't know how he would actually fit in with 9-11 either. Some, some of these things could be disconnected. But again, all the things I just pointed out with those 9-11s, those aren't disconnected. That's evidence of the ritual and who's behind it. Okay, so mastermind Vicky White, who then suicided herself. By the way, the story started on the 118th day of the year, April 28th, breaking out Casey White, whose name equals 118. So I'll have to keep this in mind when college football season rolls around, just in case somehow there's some ritual synced up with the college football season ahead, which there probably is. Sometimes it takes a while to figure out where they're going with this stuff. But I have no doubt that this is synced up with Alabama Crimson Tide and what happened to them in Indiana with their loss. Zero doubt. 
you know, it's the, it's the exact same numbers. So again, it's, it's detective work here. Sometimes when they lay down a riddle, I understand it all right away. Sometimes I got to keep following it until I'm like, okay, this is what they're doing. But news and sports been telling you about it for so long, been calling the games before they happen from so long before, because we know that news and sports are all scripted together. And again, how many times I got to teach you about 56 and Black Lives Matter, and this time they make it extra easy. 56 count indictment for members of YSL, which equals 56 young black men on a 56 date numerology. Isn't this how I've always taught it the whole time? Never switched it up. Always told you that this one, what, what have I told you? These two ciphers right here from the beginning, 2013, these are the only two ciphers I knew to start, right from Manly P. Hall's The Secret Teachings of All Ages, the alphabetic order, the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. Same original ciphers. You can see pretty much see through the whole ritual. Just right there. Date, numerology, gematria. Synced up news day after day. And notice how Young Thug and Rico Act go together when you look at it forwards and backwards. You know, I wouldn't have been able to see in, in 2013, I, I wouldn't have saw the connection with this because I didn't know reverse back then. But that's why there's so many things line up when you just look at the reverse. You're like, that's not an accident. Young Thug's 48 forwards, 33 in reverse. Rico X, 33 forwards, 48 in reverse. That's not an accident. So. And Kevin Samuels, again, just to remind how they just had to report that he died at 56, even though he didn't really die at that age. Again, his whole death was synced up with his future. Healing together from February 8th. Day three, we were in 8-2 or 2-8. Future 28, healing together 82. 86 days later, he's 86th. And uh, that was on the 125th day of the year when they were emphasizing the worst day video of future that he was part of. Worst day, 125, dead on the 125th day of the year. That, that day, there was all sorts of 125 rituals in the news. Microsoft 125. Bill Gates was in the news that day for making fun of conspiracy theories. When the guy's a walking, talking conspiracy from day one. Connected to so many big news stories where people didn't notice. They didn't notice that Kurt Cobain's death had everything to do with Bill Gates becoming the number one celebrity in that town that year. People didn't realize that Bill Gates was going to be the future. And, and how many times have I taught about death in 83? Or death in, excuse me, death in 38 and murder in 38 and 83. Again, this happens while future is 38. This man's death synced up with him. Dead on 5-5 five, five when he's part of the fraternity Kappa Alpha Psi, 5-5, five, five, 55. Dead on the 121st day of that fraternity's age, 86 days from the future. Interview when blood sacrifices 121 and 86. Talking about the fraternity out of Bloomington on the 136th day of the year was him. Then dead on 5-5. Five, five. I mean, come on. And, and like I said that day, if you have anyone watched the videos, just like I always say, I always say the same damn thing. It's the Jesuits. And again, last night I was watching a movie I hadn't seen since I was young. I saw this movie when I was a kid. But um, this is this is Menace to Society. Shout out to Hickok. He sent me a Menace to Secret Society t-shirt. I should have been wearing that when I was doing this. But notice how at 56 minutes and, and seconds into the film, Georgetown Hoya's sweatshirt comes in. The, the first Jesuit university when Society of Jesus is 56. Th this is where this makes its appearance in the film. And again, I'm always showing you how all these dead rappers are Jesuit rituals. All this black shaming is Jesuit ritual. They represent the same Catholic church that's never had a black pope. And, you know, I mean, just throughout the whole movie. After he kills the Koreans, he's bragging about it, showing the uh, surveillance tape of him killing the Korean store owners. And he's like, I'm going to sell these for $59.95. The number stamped all over black history and black shaming. And, and really, you know, like, man, had some racist, you know, some some un understanding people who are scared of black people who are watching the news in the early 90s when every night it's black man wanted for this, black man on the loose wanted for that. Look out for this black man with the nightly news used to be every single night when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s. Had one of them made it in the theater to watch this movie with O-Dog, they'd be even more terrified than they ever were of black people. And then he's out there bragging about killing Koreans for $59.95, and people aren't even getting it. The slave Negro Rasta Blues joke, you know? And then, again, in the film where he, he instigates his buddy into, you know, killing some other people to get revenge for his cousin— they got to show you up on the screen right before the main character shoots and kills the first people in his life. They got to show that the guys that they're about to shoot and kill, they're standing right under the 107. 
107. Let's go back to the most simple cipher. What's shooting equal in the most simple cipher? 107. Number I've talked about the most next to shootings to 44 is 107. It's been this way the whole time. Same stuff over and over. Coded in the movies. Coded in the news. The same stuff. Coded in music videos. The same stuff. Now, think about this. It is 56 minutes and seconds into the film. Now, think about this. When the film starts, it starts at zero seconds and ticks up to the first minute. That's the first minute of the film. When the film hits one minute, that time from 101 to, to two minutes is the second minute of the film. From 201 up to three is the third minute of the film and so on. So if it's 5642, what minute of the film are we really in? We're in the 57th minute of the film. And why does that matter? Georgetown equals 57, which matters because it was established in 1789, the year George Washington turned 57, who it's named after. And by the way, the name George is also 57. George Washington turned 57 the same year that Georgetown was established. And in reverse, Georgetown is 42, just like Jesuit. And on the Julian calendar, the old calendar, George Washington's birthday is February 11th, which is the 42nd day of the year. So isn't that neat how that works out with Georgetown and the life of George Washington? In the 57th year of his life, the, the, the university is established, and his birthday is what used to be the 42nd day of the year. Um, and with regards to that, Let's bring up Bismarck Key, who died nearly a year ago. R.I.P. to Bismarck Key. In his music video for Just a Friend, he... Oh, by the way, he died on the kill date, Bismarck Key. You know, the kill date that comes up every month. This month, it'll be May 17th. It'll be the kill date this month. Every month, it's the same thing. Last, last month, it was DJ K. Slay and Ronaldo's Child, and I forget who else. But every month, it's the same thing. And... um in his video, he's wearing the Georgetown Hoyas sweatshirt for just a friend. And notice it's at 57 seconds into the music video. He's up there with the Georgetown sweatshirt on. You think that's a coincidence? And by the way, these people do things when Georgetown's 57 and then he dies at age 57. Do you think it's a coincidence? His hit song. He just happens to be in that sweatshirt and then dies at that age. And light of how relevant that number is to that gang. And if you think this stuff's a coincidence, there's something wrong with you. You know, I wouldn't recommend medication, but maybe eating better, getting more sleep, looking in the mirror, do some salutations. I'm not a moron. I'm not a moron. I'm not a moron, you know? And by the way, just if you guys don't know my work for years, I've been educating about how the public's played for fools by the most divisive of all issues, abortion. And how it's always a 122 ritual with abortion. And then on the 122nd day of the year, they had to say that Roe versus Wade memo got leaked that it's going to be overturned on May 2nd, the 122nd day of the year. But the reason it can be overturned is because the liberal Ginsburg was replaced by the conservative Catholic Amy Coney Barrett. And don't forget that Ginsburg died on Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, in a huge Jesuit ritual. September 18th, the same day in history, the cornerstone was laid for D.C., but notice, from Amy Coney Barrett's birthday, she's 50 right now, from her birthday to the day that the leak happened was also 94 days later, and abortion equals 94 forwards, 122 in reverse, and 50. So 94 days after her 50th birthday and the 50th year of the Roe versus Wade decision on the 122nd day of the year. And she is the reason, because she replaced Ginsburg, that it's possible to overturn it. Just think about that. She's the latest addition to the Supreme Court because Katanji Brown Jackson, even though they put her in by the numbers, by the way, Breyer retired 201 days from his birthday or announced his retirement. And then Katanji Brown Jackson was nominated 201 days from her birthday. And not to mention Breyer's birthday is the same birthday as the Jesuits, August 15th. But um, she still hasn't been put on. So still the, the newest member of the court is still Amy Coney Barrett. And uh, again, like I'm always saying, these federal puppets, you know, then the, the Supreme Court's Catholic and Jewish, just like the Jesuits are Catholic and Jewish. They were created to counter the 95 theses, the Protestant Reformation, which was against Catholicism and Judaism. That's how they came together. But um, again, it's so obvious when you look at the Supreme Court, which is all Catholic and Jewish. And it's become more Catholic because 
well, Breyer's about to be out of there and, and Ginsburg just died. I think it's about to be all Catholic, actually. Um, that's symbolic. Um, but yes, yeah, Saturday Night Live just did, did us get on this too, focusing on Amy Coney Barrett. So, and by the way, from the day that she became a member of the Supreme Court to the the day of this leak, seventy nine weeks on the nose. Society of Jesus, seventy nine. Remember when they declared the pandemic on Anthony Fauci's seventy ninth day, being seventy nine years old? These Jesuits, they got it all planned out. They got it all mapped out. Roe versus Wade decided on one slash 22. Then on the 122nd day of the year, synced up with the latest Supreme Court stooge. They got it all planned out. That's why they had to make sure they had the good Catholic with a January 28th birthday. And um, for all you guys who want to know on the sports channel, I've already covered this. Why you guys should actually follow my work in my other channels because I did cover this this weekend. A lot of you guys keep asking me, why did Canelo Alvarez lose on 7-5? to Dmitry Bivol, the Russian. Notice it was exactly 20 weeks. The winner was born exactly 20 weeks before the fight where he became 20-0. So exactly 20 weeks after his birthday, 20-0. And again, this man represents Russia, and the fight could be written on a date 7-5, and Russia 75. So Russia is 75. And Russia is so important to the New World Order because that's where the Jesuits were saved in history. New World Order is 177. You see that? The Jesuit Order is 177 and 201. Catherine the Great preserved the Jesuit Order, the leader of Russia at the time, with 201 priests after her husband died on 17 7. Remember what happened to Captain Tom? He was knighted on 17 7 and died 201 days later, supposedly from coronavirus. And he died 56 days after the first people in the UK were vaccinated for COVID. And he died one day after the Burma campaign when he was known for the Burma campaign. And again, Burma campaigns. Oops, I spoke Burma. And Burma campaign is 56. Coronavirus, 56. COVID vaccine, 56. The first vaccinated person in the world was Maggie Keenan, 56. See how this goes? The first man was supposedly William Shakespeare, who said all the world's a stage. And the news is the stage is managed by the numbers all day, every day. And um, again, sports are rigged. I mean, they, they, they just hose the public with the the um, the horse race this week because they gave you 20 horses to bet on all week. And then they pulled out one of the horses at the last second and stuck in a new horse, Rich Strike, which equals 57, who went on to win the race on 5-7. And you see how Rich Strikes 120, 150, 69? Look at Illuminati. It's the exact same. 120, 150, 69. Remember what it was originally called? The Bavarian Illuminati. Bavarian 148. It was the 148th Kentucky Derby. So all the money bet on all the horses. And pretty much no one wins because the horse they subbed in at the last second took the race. And don't tell me that horse wasn't on some kind of stimulants because it was running twice as fast as every horse at the end. And after the race was over, if you go watch the footage, it was trying to bite the other horses around it like it was all amped up and crazy. And one of the news reporters who tried to come in an interview had to step back like she was afraid, like the horse was going to attack her. It's because it was on something. But what about Bob Baffert getting in trouble last year? What, what, what about it? Are you fooled by the deception, the obvious deception? You know, Pete, Pete Rose gambled so he can't play baseball anymore. These are all the bullshit-ass stories. Pete Rose stayed famous and been in the spotlight for all these years. All of this bullshit is to make it seem like there's some legitimacy to these sports, which there's not. They're all rigged. They're all scripted. They're all ways of hosing the public. There's a reason the casinos. How could a casino always win on sports gambling? Well, haven't you watched Casino with Robert De Niro where they explain how they even count every blade of grass? Oh, I'm sure that's how they're doing it. They're going out to the fucking football field and going, well, today there's 10 trillion blades of grass. I'm glad we spent the whole last month figuring out the count here. We're going to have to count the other 1,000 stadiums of football games going on this week so we can get it down to an exact science. Obviously, that's not what they're doing. They're rigging the fucking shit the same way they rig the news. Tom Brady, who, I mean, just, I mean, you guys, you got to be a moron to think Tom Brady's even, he can throw the ball to a spot. That's it. 9-11, Patriot Act, Patriots. It doesn't get any more obvious how bullshit it is. 9-11 was an obvious load of shit. The NFL's an obvious load of shit. Tom Brady's the most obvious load of shit there ever was. Not to mention his wife's born on the 201st day of the year and his whole career is a million two well ones. 
Here. One of the first time I ever documented 201. I didn't even know what it meant at the time, but I, I well, I, I, I had a little gist of it, but I, I was like, Tom Brady, 201 Rams. I, I just want you to see how ESPN did this headline years ago. Ask yourself, why would ESPN have this headline? The amazing numbers behind Tom Brady's march to 201. They didn't do this for 200. They didn't even do it for 199, and he was the 199th pick of the draft, which, of course, is the 46 prime, like Michigan's 46, and Tom Brady's 46, and Catholic's 46, and that's who runs the whole damn show. Remember, the 201 Jesuits served the Catholic Church, but notice, they had to do that with 201, and he beat the Rams in that game, and Rams is 201 in Jewish gematria. And remember, they were in St. Louis at the time, and the first forward pass in the history of American football was thrown by St. Louis University, the Jesuit school. So, again, you guys, this guy's entire life is scripted. Throws for 201 passing yards uh, against the Chiefs to win his last Super Bowl and then meets with Biden on the 201st day of the year who sacrificed his wife and daughter in a 201 ritual and his son 201 days for the Pope's birthday. And everything else that goes on with that list that I've said a gazillion times. Anyhow, uh, we'll leave it there. Check out Mr. Futures in the chat. He's on a tear. Mr. Futures dominating the world of rig sports. Making me proud, you know. He's been running his Patreon for probably at least a couple of years now. And he's just getting better with time, like an aged fine wine. So, again, all you guys who miss me doing the daily sports decodes, check out Mr. Futures. He's on fire right now. You won't be disappointed. And, um, again, if you guys didn't hear my message earlier today, I need I need you guys to all pledge a dollar. I want to see it get up to 10,000 people have pledged a dollar. That's not asking for jack shit in light of what I've done for the world. There should be. Some people out there that can find a dollar a month to support the work so we can make that victory lap, pound pavement in every city around the entire U.S. and make something start happening. Because you guys should all understand if we don't stop this agenda, it's going to keep closing in on you more and more like a vice until you got no rights and liberties and you got nothing to show for anything and your savings have been destroyed and all your earnings, if you even have any, have been destroyed. And every last thing that makes life worth living has been taken from us because that is the trajectory we're on. The psychopaths who rule this world, they don't respect us. All they want to do is use and abuse us. And if you haven't figured that out yet, there's something severely wrong with your head and you need to get it worked out. So thank you, LAF. I see your dollar. I appreciate it. I have not been watching the chat. I don't know if anybody else gave a super chat tonight, but it's the first time I was in the, the room to even see. Living Dream donated a dollar. I see that. Thank you. Hold on. I guess I can screen. Wow. StreamYard's cool. You can actually stream. I didn't realize that. You I thought, wow, maybe you can stream through every damn comment on StreamYard. Hold on. You guys have left a lot of comments. We are streaming on three channels right now. Make sure you're subscribed to Gematria Effect Sports, Gematria Effect News 25, Gematria Effect News 24, Gematria Effect News 23, Gematria Effect News 22. The reason I have all those channels is because I have to shuffle them to keep them from getting deleted. Mama Wren donated $5. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Sorry for the late response. It looks like that's it. All right, you guys. Thank you for your uh, generosity. Uh, again, really looking for people to help get that number up on Patreon. I got to prove to sweet lady that the support's not falling off. Somehow it did after we went down to Oklahoma City. Most expensive month ever, truth seeking, and the support falls off. I can't quite figure it out, but Again, if you guys can come back and pick up the pace, we got a lot bigger things to do. And um, again, three pennies a day goes a long ways. In the description, in the top pinned comment, that's where it is to uh, figure out how to support. A and also on the top of my website, gematrieeffect.news. All right, everyone. Till next time.